So, this is lockdown vlog number six, Big Stella Edition 2. There's a the big bottle. <laughs> it's like a wine bottle. I mean, look at the size of that. Mm. Now, I haven't even took a sip of this yet until now. I'll get on with this vlog. Like I say, if you don't like my videos, I'm sure there's plenty of cats on YouTube to watch. I'm sure there's plenty of experimental videos like how many baked beans can you eat in an hour only using a con uh, cocktail stick and how many baked bean tins of baked beans it take to fill a bath now that aside those of you who've got me on my doorbell page i know something tragic happened last night this is my big announcement oh uh, you know it's midnight just a bit about time before I did the vlog normally and on that I thought I'll play a bit of Gran Turismo as you do epic game went to change the disc over and um, the tray messed up so I was like uh, not again it got worse and worse and worse until the console wouldn't do nothing so then I yanked the tray out and the whole like disc mechanism fell apart it was like nothing I'd ever seen Shame really, because that console was like 16 and a half years old and um, it still worked perfectly until that moment. But it did have a dodgy tray for about 10 years, so it lasted 10 years with a dodgy tray. It did quite well, I thought. Never mind. Um, completely trashed it after, sadly. Um, so it's just a pile of scrap now. She's sitting outside. Hmm. Shame really, but hopefully if I get my way, I might be able to get one for about 20 quid, which should be cheap. So, yeah. So, I've got an old TV sitting over there. Pretty redundant at the moment because it's pretty useless unless you want to watch snow on it. <laughs> yeah. Technology and all that. Um, I can't say I miss it at the moment, but it'll probably be that one day if I don't get one. I'll be like, why did I bust the other one? Like... I'll be exactly like that. I'll be like, why did I bust it? So yeah, not the end of the world really. Um, other things I'd like to mention. It's been nice not having the backlash from other people. It's lovely. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers, including on here and um, on my doorbell page. It means the world to me. Robert Lambkin, yo, I hear you. I got your vlog the other day. I saw it. I thought, what a great vlog it was. So, if you don't know Robert Lambkin, probably worth checking out his vlog. Because it was quite cool, actually. I liked his vlog. Um, what more can I say? It's just been, like, seven weeks in lockdown. Nothing more to do, really. Yeah, should have seen all the plastic came out that PS2 though. <laughs> I had to actually um, get the Hoover to pick up the plastic. Um, if you don't know the reference, so you can't pick up glass using a Hoover on the bag. You'd watch some of the Bellside episodes, it's on there. You can definitely pick up plastic using a Hoover though. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I didn't know there was actually two different versions of the PS2. There's the SPCH. 39993 I think it is and then there's the one I had which is the SPCH 50003 apparently the SPCH 50003 is the better one so I'm hoping to get one of them again apparently the um, SPCH um, 39993 ones um, go weird after a while and like don't read certain discs and stuff where mine was actually still working perfectly up until about this time yesterday which is about 2.20 in the morning at the moment so yeah can't actually believe that we're like halfway through May already scary here's my sixth lockdown vlog what else has happened this week well not a lot really there's really not a lot to say but yeah this is um, quite boring actually for a vlog, but <laughs> nothing's actually happened in the life of Doorbell in the last week. So, 
So I hope that explains why like the vlog's like a day late and all that and everything else. Um, I was um, hoovering up the plastic at like half eleven this morning. I thought it was sad. I think all the hours you spent in front of that console and then suddenly it's like decided to give you grief and the boredom of being in lockdown. It doesn't help your frustration sometimes and you become quite short fused. Yeah. It's just a piece of computer technology that can be easily replaced, but maybe not be quite the same as the other one, but does the same job, so, yeah. The SPCH50003 is actually the lower noise operation model as well, so... This means it doesn't suck in all the dust and the fan makes a noise and stuff, it doesn't, it's quite quiet. And of course, there's actually different versions of Slimline as well, which goes from like SPCH6 to like the 9 series and stuff. It's weird. Never knew that until last night and I was looking for one. Yeah, the highlight of my week has to be driving to the supermarket. But we are now allowed to go out as much as we want. So that's kind of cool if it's for exercise and drive to us other destinations. So, hmm. It's quite nuts. Um, and yeah, this um, half five this morning, I had this asshole upstairs start with the TV, so I was like, it actually did wake me up, and I was like, mm, what am I going to do about this? It's like, and it's on and off, on and off, on and off from about quarter past five onwards, so then it's just going on and on and on, and it got to half five, and I was like, I just turned the power off. I mean, how simple is that? <laughs> Seriously, just turn the power off. It's the easiest way. And then he doesn't watch TV for the rest of the day. It's quite hilarious. <laughs> Very localised power cut. So, yeah. What else has happened? Oh, yeah, so I've been looking on um, eBay, um, like CRT TVs and stuff. Blimey, you see the price of some of them now. It's absolutely insane. Like, you look at the old Sony, Sony Trinitron, sorry, and the other ones, it's like, wow. You're looking at, like, between 70 and 150 pounds even for a 14 inch now. It's like, blimey. There was an Alba on there, which is like, I had one very similar back in the day, and it's like, blimey. Um, 80 pounds for a 14 inch Alba, which. Probably cost about that new, to be honest. So, yeah. Sitting here, enjoying a bottle of Stella. This week's been nice. I've had no backlash. Maybe we should keep it that way. And all that and everything else. Hmm. But, yes. This is the end of the vlog. Hopefully done in one take and the S6 behaves itself, which it has today. Maybe it realises what I did to that PS2, which didn't really deserve it, but... Yeah, don't you just hate it when technology just messes you around? I hate it when technology messes me around, it's like... Who's actually in charge here? The technology will, like... It's like, do we all become slaves to technology or something? It's weird. Like, televisions, we become big slaves to them, because we sit there watching them all the time. Mobile phones and stuff, it's... Yeah. Damn, man, that poor PS2, though. Still this time yesterday, it's still a fully working console. Until that tray just annoyed me one too many times and yanked the tray out and all the bits came out. And it was like, mm, maybe I can fix this. And I tried to fix it and then got to the point I just threw it off the floor several times and loads of bits of plastic went flying everywhere. So like, was it supposed to explode like that? I mean, seriously. Not to take the bag outside to try and hide it and like, nosy person next door, lives next door to me, he's looking out the window and I thought, for feck's sake, you can't even go for a dump around here without people actually knowing what you're doing. So when he'd actually put his head away, I actually put it behind the chair and later on I Put it in one of the trash cans, hopefully 
hidden it well so that it goes out of the trash next time. <laughs> it's actually not the best way to dispose of stuff, but who cares? Remember that first day I got that PS2? It was like the sheer excitement. The excitement that was like paramount at the time because PS2 was the latest console. Anyhow, that's a quick vlog from Doorbell again. Um, it's been nice not having no backlash this week. She's been quiet. And when I finish this bottle of Stella, no doubt I'll be pissing like a racehorse like I was last week. <laughs> it was that bad. I was pissing like a racehorse. <laughs> but if I, if I actually had a race on who could piss the most last week, it'd probably be me who'd win. <laughs> so, like, one week I'm winning a game of chess, which was a game of chess, but I likened it to a game of chess. This week it'd be like, who can piss the most in, like, half an hour? <laughs> My poor toilet bill, though. We'll be paying for that later. I can actually go outside and actually water the plants with it all, because that would be hilarious. Everyone would be wondering, where's the plants dying? It's like, doorbells from pissing like a racehorse again. Stop feeding doorbell Stella because he pisses like a racehorse on it. <laughs> anyway, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that nonsense, and catch you on the next vlog. Thank you to all my subscribers this week, and new likes and all that, and see you all soon.